So there's some people in your life you got to say, man, you know, listen, I love you. But right now I got to take a vacation. Why? For my mental clarity, for my mental health. Yes, I know you need help too. Maybe it's financial. Maybe it's, but man, I got to focus on me right now. I got to get my mind right. I got to get myself focused. Then I can come. Are you ready? We're going to run the yeah. play. Let's Do you go. know what it's like to come from nothing at all? But every day you just want to need all. Do you know what it's like? Every day facing your fear, but believing that your blessing is near. Do you know what it's like? Growing up broken than most, but still being devoted the most. Do you know what it's like? Yeah, that's what the journey's about. Yeah. Let me show you What's up, y'all? This is Justin Owens. Welcome to the Runner Play Show. And I got to talk about a sensitive topic. How do you know? when it's time to cut somebody off. Now, I gotta say something, because every year, I see people say, oh, I'm cutting off people this year, I'm cutting off this. I'm like, listen, let me just say this too. If every year you cutting people off, <laughs> I mean, if every year you cut everybody off. All right, so there's a couple things I would evaluate. Number one, uh, you might need to evaluate who you keep adding into your circle before you even add them in. Because if every year you're always cutting, there's a flaw in your judgment of who you keep attracting into your life. Or number two, the issue may be you. I, I, I know. I was thinking about a better way to say it. I couldn't come up with anything else. Because here's the reality. Sometimes other people are having to distance themselves from us. It's hard to kind of realize that sometimes in life. Like, man, it changed because they distancing themselves from me. I'm all about accountability. This is about leadership. So I always got to say that first. But... If you do realize that, hey, man, maybe it's not working out or this relationship is not serving us the best, what are what are some ways, some telltale signs that you know, you know, for your own well-being, for your own mental health, that's some signs that it may be time to cut someone off. Number one, they are constantly negative or toxic. If somebody's constant neg constantly negative, this is hard for me. Like, people always calling me about problems. They always cause me, call me about situations. Their behavior, their words are just negative. It can be draining. And, and I think a lot of times people don't take into account the, the 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 drain that sometimes that they put on people on their health. Like I literally know some people like that. They get a joy from talking about negative things. Now, here's, a, here's another point that I, I want you to think about, too, is that when you're going through challenges, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in business, whether it's finances, it is the easiest... What, what do they call it? Trauma bonding, right? And so basically, it's easy to bond with people based out of trauma. It's easy to bond with people based out of challenges. And so, you know what? If I don't like somebody, that's why I like two people that don't like each other, like somebody, they can become friends with each, with each other based on them not liking somebody, but they're really not friends. They've just built a relationship based out of trauma. So sometimes you've got to go back through your relationship and say, okay, why did we even become friends? At what stage in my life was I? Was it when I was I was going through a breakup and I was going to the club all the time and this was the person that would always go with me and we got along? Like, this again is just something for you to think about. At what phase, what stage, and are they constantly a drag? Are they constantly negative? Number two is they don't respect your boundaries. If somebody constantly disregards your boundaries or requests, it may be time to end or limit the relationship like and, and i'm talking about simple stuff like even down to diet like i like if i if i tell somebody like yo listen i'm not i'm not right now i'm on a detox and I'm, I'm trying to focus on this and it's like yo you constantly keep trying to give me junk food you constantly keep trying to give me alcohol you constantly keep trying to do things that are not beneficial to my boundaries well it may be time for me to limit you or in the relationship number three they're not 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 supportive and this one is tricky because, you know, sometimes people are not supportive out of love, right? But but relationships should be supportive. They should be uh, not draining. And if you constantly find yourself in positions where you're constantly there for other people, but they're never there for you, it may be time to consider relationships. You know, I, I think I saw something on social media said something like uh, the, the, the givers have to have limits because the takers don't have none, right? And so... And so you have to be aware of this. Like, I, I I start catching myself. Like, if people can always call me for a favor, but when I call them, it's just always somewhat inconvenient. Consistently. Like, I'm not saying stuff don't happen, but consistently. You know, like the people that you helped move when you was a kid, but it was time for you to move, nobody could help you. You, you know what I'm talking about? Or the people you could, you let them, you help them with your homework, but when it's time for you to get some help, they, 
were no, they were nowhere to be found. Like you got to start paying attention to that stuff because it's not that they're necessarily bad people, but they could be bad for you. Next one is if they engage in harmful behavior. If somebody engages in, engages in uh, abusive behavior or harmful behavior, you gotta you gotta be careful. Not only for them, but for your own safety. Do y'all know there's some situations where people you ever hear people say it's wrong wrong place and time? Because a lot of times they might have been in the wrong place, wrong time, but they were with the wrong person. That got them caught up at the wrong place at the right the, the wrong time. Does that make sense? So you gotta start, man. Okay, man, what are you doing in your personal life? What's going on in your past? Is anybody looking for you? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because sometimes what they engage into could put you in a negative situation. And then number five, I think it's a simple one, is the relationship is just not fulfilling. Relationships should bring happiness. You should be fulfilled in some capacity. Like literally, I ain't gonna lie, I have friends. That we may not talk for six months, but when we see each other, it's like we it's like we've been talking every single day. It's friends that sometimes I don't talk to for a year, like face to face, and it's like it, nothing ever happened. So, so I'm not just saying like this is we talking every single day, but I'm saying like the relationship should bring happiness. It should bring some fulfillment. If it's not doing that, then again, it might be causing more harm than good. I will be transparent. When I start off as an entrepreneur, you know there were some people in my life I couldn't cut off. That fit in some of these categories, but what I decided to do is I decided to take a vacation from them. I don't know if you've ever been on a cruise, but you know I go on cruises uh, from time to time. I go fishing every single year. And one of the things I like about both of those things is that you have spotty to no service on your cell phone. And so my friends or people that are important to me, if they tried to call me while I'm fishing and we're, we're close to Cuba and my phone does not work on the water until I get back in, no matter why they're trying to call me, what's going on, I can't reach them because... I'm out of range. I'm out of service. And so there's some people in your life you got to say, man, you know, listen, I love you, but right now I got to take a vacation. Why? For my mental clarity, for my mental health. Yes, I know you need help too. Maybe it's financial. Maybe it's, but man, I got to focus on me right now. I got to get my mind right. I got to get myself focused. Then I can come back when I become stronger. Then I can come back when I've got myself together. And then maybe I can deal with you. But you gotta throw out this disclaimer too, right? Uh, ultimately, the decision to cut someone off should be based on what is best. No, I'm just <laughs> you know how they be doing them now. <laughs> you know how they be doing with the prescriptions. But ultimately, the decision to cut somebody off should be based on what's best for you and your own well-being and happiness. And that's a choice that is uh, something that you have to choose. You know, you know, the thing that's funny is, is I'm listening to this video is, you know, if you got to cut somebody off, you, you already know it before you started watching this video. <laughs> In fact, you already know who you need to cut off, don't you? I know. And so, you know, what, what I do is, you know, I, I try to listen to my heart and, and I figure out the best way to do it. Like I said, a vacation may be the best way to start making the distance and, and stepping away or... Here's something else that sometimes people run away from relationships because they don't want to have the necessary conversation. Sometimes we would rather talk to everybody else about a problem instead of just talking to the person, facing that challenge head on and saying, hey, man, you know what, man, I've been feeling this way. I've been feeling this and expressing it because here's the truth. They may not hate. They may not even recognize what you're feeling because you've never expressed it. I tell people this all the time, especially my lady friends, is that, you know, you guys can't read your mind. But. Guys can't read my mind either. And ladies can't read my mind either. And so the whole point is we can't just assume that people know stuff or any of these things are bothering us unless we say something. So um, how do you know when it's time to cut people off? I just told you some signs that could be reasons why they cut people off. But also communication is important. But also the, the ability to use a vacation is important. So we gave you a couple plays today on this episode. And, you know, hopefully it sets you up for a better year. Y'all know what it is. Go run the play. What's going on? Listen, make sure you guys go to runtheplaystore.com. Get your official run the play gear. We talk about shirts, socks, jackets for everybody that's run the play all across the world. Are you ready? We're going to run the yeah. play. Let's Do you go. know what it's like to come for nothing at all? But every day you just want it all. Do you know what it's like? Every day facing your fear, but believing that your blessing is near. You know what it's like Growing up broken than most 